Okay, on this video, we're just going to run through putting the sump on. And I've taken the liberty of, of putting the cork in this back housing. Now, this back housing sits up there, and the sump, this mark around the sump here, it actually pushes down on that cork. So another thing that this alloy housing does, it supports the bottom half of the rear main crank seal, which there'll be another video on that later on. But look, what I've done, I've used the CRC ADOS, ADOS, ultra high spray adhesive, and I've sprayed in the groove, and then I've fitted the cork, and we've pushed it down nice and tight, and just made sure it's right in, and I've put a cable tie at the end here just to make sure that this this end here is is in as tight as it can go. So when that gets bolted down, we need to trim these off. When this gets bolted down, um, and the sump gets brought down over the top, there's nothing going to be nothing sitting down, and the sump should clear it nicely and, and seal on this surface here. So. <clears throat> I, I did this before, but the camera, I can't have pressed the record properly, so um, that's why you missed out on that bit. But yeah, it, it's just spray, put it on, lock, lock it on with a couple of cable ties, and yeah, look, we'll, we'll pop this over here out of the way. The, when the sump goes on, there is a front housing. This goes in the front, and the timing seal and all goes in there, which we don't need to do yet. Um, we'll just get the sump on, button down, and we'll go from there. So I'll go and find the gaskets and we'll start putting the gaskets on. Okay, so after after we've um, let all this dry, we just bring this down and cut, cut the cork level with the end here. Same on this side. So I'm just using the, the surface here as a guide, so we can cut those cable ties off. And snap your blade off. Good work Lance. And I've cleaned the surface with Brake Clean, this is W Brake Clean water based spray uh, yeah, brake cleaner, but I don't know, it seems alright. Um, yeah, I still like the force and the other one better, but but yeah, so this just goes down, bolts on there. Now we have two 5 16 bolts, and what I might do is I'll just put a little bit of aviation under there. Okay. I'll just put a bit of this down there just to... Oh, Jesus, Lance. Pick up some of the mess. And that's just to help it seal, make sure we're sealing on that surface. I don't know if it's necessary or not, but um, I'm gonna put it on there anyway. Now we start these bolts. You're going to need a half inch spanner for this. Run them down with your finger. Come in through the back there. Okay, get a half inch spanner. There we go. And because the rear crank seal sits down over here, then there's another half comes in, we have to make sure that we have this true with the back housing there. I'll just nip that down. And what I like to do is push it back, and then when you bring the straight edge up, you bring it forward, and it and only pushes it enough to line up perfectly. I 
I think I'd like to do that one again. That's perfect. Lovely. So yeah, you can't feel a lip, you can't feel that join there at all. So that's um, that's ideal. Just make sure there's no none of that glue still hanging around. There's a little bit just there. Okay, that's just to make sure it's clean. Now this gasket, it's got a tip here and the tip's supposed to go under this cork. But look, I, I normally don't do that. Um, I just bring the cork down, line the holes up here and bring the cork down. So it just bumps up against it. I probably should have done this before. If we push this in there, so that lines up perfectly there. And well, I do put a bit of extra gunk um, glue around that surface and up the front here, that's all lining up nicely. So I'll get the aviation contact cement. Clean up where it spilt here before because I was a messy bugger. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'll put this gasket in place. And it doesn't hurt if you let this sit for a bit and let this aviation get a bit tacky. That's fine. Roof's rattling away today, must be cloud coming and going. Okay, so that can sit for a moment while I do the other. I won't film the other, I'll get it done and I'll come back when we're ready to drop the sump on. I'll try and get this sump up and over. It's a fair old lift getting up high. And if I'm round that side, I'll have to have it over this way. Before we do, we'll just check, take a moment for a quick look at everything. Oil pumps on, relief valves, caps on. I think we're good to go. I may roll him over this way a little bit. It may just help me slide it on. Certainly is bloody heavy. for a second. Now try and get up high and just sit him down over there. I may pop a bolt in as a handle. Actually I'll see if I can find a bigger bolt as a handle. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 
coming up. There we go. So, we look down the holes and just check that all the gaskets are where they're supposed to be. It appears like it. That's sitting around there. It's still sitting up on the tension of the of the cork, so that's good. So we'll get two short bolts at the back and we'll pull this pull the back of the sump down. And when we compress the back here against that cork, we're looking for a bit of that glue to run out here. She's warm today, mid thirties in seas. You can see as we come down here, you can see it's just starting to push the aviation cement out. You can see the same here. Okay, we'll put a bolt up the front. The housing sticker up the front and that'll hold that in place. Take our guide bolts out. Yep, that's lining up. We'll put a spring washer on it. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to film um, doing up all the bolts. You know how that works, um, but yeah, it's quite a heavy job for one bloke, and trying to get everything lined up is a bit of a can be a bit of a hassle. So there you go. That's buttoned down. I'll I'll run around all the bolts and do that. And um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the back here. That's the problem area. So there you go. That's putting the sump on.